If you're in the My Transactions section of the website, either you've received bids on your assets or you've sent bids. Either way, this is where you will be spending a lot of your time. When in your My Transactions section, please note that you can modify your columns to be set up in any way that makes the most sense for you. You can pin items to the top. Some people put the roles first if they're buying and selling. Others put the to-dos. It's totally up to you how you organize it. Let's click on the transaction ID and get into a transaction. Here's where most of your work will take place. You can ask questions, call your counterparty, share documents, ask for documents, but check the files tab before you do to see if they've already been shared there. If you negotiate and you both agree on a price, you can just follow the to-do list to complete the closing. We have three different closing schedules, escrow and audit, audit and payment directly to seller, no audit and payment to seller. We include the audit fee in our transaction costs and pass on the cost of the escrow to you. After you both sign the PSA, you're out of the negotiation phase and into a closing. At that time, all other parties that might have been bidding on this asset are locked out of the transaction and only alerted if the transaction doesn't complete and gets rolled back to negotiations. Now in the closing phase, just follow the steps to the end. Sellers, be sure to verify your bank account fast to keep the transaction moving along. We will be depositing two small amounts and you'll need to verify what those are. Provide your servicing information so that we can initiate the servicing transfer request at the end of the transaction. The seller will need to provide the data for the closing documents. Be sure to double check this and make sure the information is correct because this is what will be used on the assignment of mortgage and on the allonge. If you have questions on where to find this information, please reach out to support. Once the funds have been wired and the collateral files have been shipped to the auditor, you will be provided with an audit report. You can find this audit report by either clicking on it in the transaction timeline or in the due diligence tab. Once the buyer is satisfied with what's in the audit report, they'll need to sign the disbursement agreement. Once that has been completed, the seller will be able to execute the assignment and the allonge. We conduct an online notarization process, making the process faster and secure. After that, the seller signs the disbursement agreement and the software will notify the auditor and the escrow company to send the collateral docs and the money. All the information is stored indefinitely in the files tab and in your my transaction section under the completed button. And that's it. That's how to do an entire transaction on the PaperStack platform.